Hello, so another one of these videos. Today I have these two Pokemon playset dollhouse things. On the left we have the house party, and on the right we have the treehouse escape in the forest. Now these are based on X and Y I believe, so at first I thought these were probably a couple of years old, but no, it turns out they're actually 2017, so these are pretty new actually. And I've wanted these things for a while, ever since I first saw them back in 2017, which must have been again when they actually came out, so not missing anything. But uh, the one on the left, I believe, has a price point of like $25, and the one on the right has a price point of like $30, so I was always kind of reluctant, but over the recent Black Friday weekend, I actually picked these up for about 45% off, so decided, hey, that's a really good deal, so... So starting with the house party one here, and this is again the one that I believe is $5 cheaper at normal price, and this one I, off the bat, I think I'm going to like it more than the tree one. Anyhow, it's pretty cute, it's white and blue and pink, and overall I really like the design of it, and the front you see a little peachy there, so let's go and turn it to the back. It has an interior here, if you look inside you can see it has a little floor there with a little carpet, over here you have a little chest of drawers or cabinet. You have a little, actually, pizza oven, which is kind of interesting. Then you have those little utensils up there, spatula. Top looks more, more like a playroom of some sort. So this comes with 19 accessories, actually a lot. And if you see there, it comes with a little Pikachu, a little Pichu, and a Pachirisu. And then back here, you can see all the stuff it comes with. Notable ones, that little teapot there is kind of cute if we'll focus in on it. And that little picture frame, and that little flower is just adorable. So, very excited to open this up. Actually, interestingly, it has this open box design, which I've not seen too much on toys and stuff like that. It looks like the accessories are actually down below, which is an interesting design, if I have to say so myself. Now the one thing I have to say about these is again, they're kind of actively available on Amazon and online and stuff, but I believe I've seen these one time in store, and it was actually in the bookstore interestingly, so these may be a lot rarer compared to some other Pokemon toys and stuff. Anyhow, I'm just going to get into this and cut off on this stuff because sure is a lot of these pesky ties and stuff on here. Now this, this is honestly a bit satisfying, just push it back and all the other accessories and stuff are down there. So everything out of the box, you of course get the cute little house, you get a sticker sheet, which I'm going to have to put on very soon, and then down to the accessories. You have the little Pikachu. These are all very nicely molded and decorated and colored actually, which is surprising. It doesn't want to focus, but you can see the little Pikachu. Then you get Pichu. Pikachu is the little brother or sister. Then you get Pachirisu. A little tail there, very cute. It doesn't want to focus, but you can see it. Now, the one thing about all these is that they have little suction cups on their bottoms, and that's kind of smart because it allows them to, of course, stick to surfaces. So, if I like flick Pachirisu here, it takes a bit of force to actually knock them down. Nothing too hard, but it'll let them stick. As for accessories, you have this little pool floaty filled with water. I assume that's supposed to be like a bath or some sort. Then you get this little pan, which comes at the top. Put the little top on it right here. Top. Get this little green and sand colored lamp. Then you get this little potted rose of some sort. You get this delicious looking bowl cooking what looks to be, looks like it's mixing some chocolate of some sort or some fudge. Get this picture frame. You get this lovely rose flower, uh, I forget the name of that sink, right? Sink nozzle or bath nozzle? Same that's meant to go over like that. And then beyond that, you have a little teacup, very cute. And that of course comes at the top as well. Then you get this little pan, and you get this little flower. And then for the bigger accessories, we have a table with two little chairs, a swing, which does function, see that? And this little uh, ladder, which I assume is for the outside, I have to attach that. So I'm going to go ahead and attach the stickers and we'll see them once they're attached. 
Now, very nicely, they actually give you different options for stickers. These two stickers go on the little table here, and as you can see, you can pick from this very cute pink sort of tablecloth pattern and this green flower pattern. I think I'm going to go with the pink one. That's so cute. So stuck on our little table looks like this. Now, of course, pick up the little chairs just like this. Let's go ahead and stick Pichu to that chair for good measure. Very cute. Now we have stickers with a picture frame, and we have so many to choose from. I don't even know which one to pick, but look at a little chibi Eevee there. Eevee is one of my favorite Pokemon, so I'm going to have to go with the Eevee. And here's our little Eevee chibi picture frame. Very cute. Now these next three are actually for inside of the house. Shows the instructions, they actually go on top of the little cabinet here. So we're gonna have to pick which one of these we want. Let's see here, so we have the little green flowers, the little pinkish red, I uh, forget what that pattern is called, but they have these more abstract yellow flowers. Now the one thing about all these stickers is that they're really kind of loose. If I take my fingernail here, you can actually peel it up a bit, so you probably could easily replace and switch to the other sticker if you so wanted to. Anyhow, last sticker looks like it's from this little wall over here. And again, I could go with the pink one and sort of finish the theming of the room. And not going with the yellow one. Sorry, people don't like yellow. But I don't know. This little pastel rainbow one is sort of catching my eye. It would match everything in the room, right? I think I'll go with the pastel one. I think I made a good choice. So the best part about these is, of course, filling it up and sending out this accessories, so you got to take a second to do that and show you the final product. Here it is, finished, and oh my gosh, is it cute. So first of all, over here, we have this stairwell, which is removable if you want to, which is a nice feature, and on the outside, of course, we have the little swing and a little pancherisu on here, and you can swing her along if you want to. Actually, we'll swing. Of course, you can take her off and bring her up the stairs if you want to as well, up to the top. So how about we just sit her right up there at the top for now. Again, the suction cups are really nice. And the front door can open, you can peer in, but we'll have to go around the back to actually see it for real. But up on the top, the little windows will open as well, which is very nice. Close them for now. Let's go and swing it around. So down here on the first floor, there's a lot of floor space. Again, just kind of set up how I'd like to display it, but there is a lot of room down here to play and just set up things and all kinds of stuff. Again, you can open the door from the outside if you want to, like that. It has a little handle on it. But again, down here, so a little plant there and all this shelf, and these little doors here will actually open so you can put stuff in there if you want to. And then there's room to put a pizza or something in here if you really want to. But very cool. Okay, these little pots will open up. You can actually take off the lid. Can't get it like that though. Then on the top, put a little pottery still up here. And have her open the door. Yeah, that door will actually slide out and it will actually lock into place. So it's not always just sitting there swaying. Little pottery still can watch your friend over here and have a little bath set up here. And then of course, open the window, and then Pachirisu is a flying Pokemon, so I guess if we want to, you can chuck her out there like that. I think she's okay, but I'm holding no charges. And then the little painting you can stick to a wall or on top of a shelf or something. Hey there, little Pichu. So overall, I think this is a very, very cute dollhouse and an even better display piece. And Again, it has a lot of little openable spots that really make it feel a whole lot more real. And again, the different sticker sheets are a nice touch of personalization. But really, the real winner of this is all the accessories and of course the little suction cup so you can spin it around and everything won't go falling to the ground. So overall, this is a very excellent little thing. It's very cute and of course, you can't beat chibi little tiny cutesy Pokemon, can you? My only real complaint is what you just saw here with the little shower head is that the suction cup really can't support its weight so it actually falls unless you sort of position it back like that and that's kind of dumb but other than that this is very cute and works rather well. And then push this over to the side here so get to the other one. Sorry Pachirisu, I'll get to you in a minute. 
So other one, the first thing is that it's a lot taller than the house, sitting side by side, you can kind of see, it's a little bit taller. The other thing is it actually comes with a little, that's Serena, right? It actually comes with a little doller character, unlike the little house, which is kind of more just a Pokemon house. Honestly, I would have thought that this would be the one that would come with the Serena and not the tree house, so a, a bit of an odd choice, but cool nonetheless to get a little trainer in there. Because of 21 accessories, so slightly more, and again, you sort of get a little table, and you can see them all here. As for the main Pokemon, you get another Pikachu. This one, I believe, is slightly different to the one we got in here. If I turn it around, let's see, uh, no, it looks like it may actually be the same Pikachu. I'll have to compare it. Actually, the one on the left looks like it has sort of a grinning face, while this one looks like it's smiling. So I'll just have to compare it. But if you have Pikachu, get a little Oshawa, and Finnegan. <laughs> Finnegan is probably solely why I would have bought this at the original price. That little Finnegan is so adorable. Don't know, I love Finnick Foxes, and Finnegan is a Finnick Fox, so... Good fit there. Anyhow, this one looks like it's also going to be a pain to open, but here we go. So the treehouse, I'm getting this out here. I actually do like it a lot. I changed my opinion a bit, so it's very cute. So, first of all, you have this little grassy area down here, which you can actually play around with. It adds a bit more realism to it. Have this little mailbox, which does look like you can actually insert something in there. If you can see, it's open on the back. Have these two little windows, the big one at the top, and just like the last one, the door will actually open. Seems a bit stiffer, but will open. Just like the house, going to go ahead and just put everything down and show you all the accessories. So with this set, you get three Pokemon, and of course, a trainer, Serena. And Serena, very nicely detailed, very sturdy figure actually, and she has a little cat on, unfortunately that will not come off. But her little arms will actually move and her head does actually turn, so that's pretty nice. So, have her sticking her hands up and jumping or something. Don't know if it's actually considered articulation, but her legs do actually rotate. They're not individual, but they do both actually go up and down. As for figures, first of all, we have the adorable Finnegan, which very nice. I love its huge head. It's so adorable. It has little paws sticking it out there. And then you have the Oshawott. Very cute. It has a massive head. <laughs> like, compared to Finnegan, Finnegan has a pretty big head here, but I don't know why. The Oshawott just looks like it has a massive head. Little ball there. Very cute, of course. Look at that smile. Then you have the Pikachu. Unfortunately, looking at it and comparing them, this is the same Pikachu as the other set, which is kind of dumb. As for furnitures, you have the chairs, which are indeed the same chairs as the other set. You get a table. This time it's actually circular, while the other one was a bit more elongated. So the other one's a bit wider. Then you get this little chest of drawers, which I imagine if you had fingernails, you could pull them out. But unfortunately, I do not have fingernails right now, so can't exactly pull it out. It looks like you may be able to push them out though from the back, which you can, and they will actually slide out all the way, so you could turn these into little storage compartments for something. Then we have this little red and pink bed, which is very cute. Then we have a lamp, which unfortunately is the same case as the Pikachu, is the exact same lamp that's included in the house set. Lastly, we have this little staircase, which is indeed removable, just like the other one. For tiny accessories, we don't have nearly as many as the other set. But for what we do, we have this cute little old-timey telephone. Then we have this little pot filled with some stew. Then we have this little present. Very cute. It's kind of an odd choice, but again, still very cute. The other side, we have this pot, which has some food in it. And you get a little flower-shaped top for the pot, so you can put it on. And it will sit up just like that. Now, wow, this time you get a whole lot more stickers. Firstly, we get to choose a tablecloth for a little table here. You have this little pink one and then this sort of retro flower shape. And I don't know which one to pick for this one. I think I'll just go with the pink one because it's sort of the obvious choice. Looking very cute. Our next stickers are actually wallpapers for here and here. And there are two kinds to choose from. You have the sort of flower ones and then you have these green patterns. and. Come on, you know which one I'm going to pick. Looking good. Next, we have a little carpet for a little tiny tree house thing up here. And again, we have this sort of retro pattern that we saw as an option for the table. We have this flower. 
And uh, to be honest, I can't really decide with this one because I think the retro one will look better here, but the flower, come on. So I did go ahead and choose the flower. Our next sticker is for the chest of drawers here, and you get to choose from this little blue pattern or this greenish pattern. And I again, I can't really choose. I think the greenish one looks slightly better. Next, we have these stickers, which I believe you actually put behind each other, and they actually act as a little mail for the mail spot up here. So we get three of those. Somehow managed to do that almost perfectly, except for the blue one. But you get this little pink heart envelope, you get an orangish X envelope, and you get a blue green dot envelope. And they will all turn over like this. If you can turn them over with my finger here. And these two are pretty much exactly the same besides the pink border, but this one is completely different. So these, they're pretty cute. Again, you can put them in a little mail slot here and add a sense of play, which I very much like. So let's go ahead and put all the letters into the mail slot here. And it looks like Serena is stuffed full of mail now. So sorry, Serena. And there we go. You can see them in there and then turn it around and take them out. Next, we have these little apple stickers and these flower stickers, which are meant to go up here. So this is going to be a lot of fun because there's like 50 of them, but give me a second. Here it is all put together and oh my gosh, is it so cute. So again, over here you have this little thing swing, which you can swing a Pokemon around in. Works very well. Up here you have this little perch where a little Finnegan can sit there and watch the stars. Here, the mill slot, which you can stuff some stuff in. That's a very cute feature. And up here you have this little crank, which you can go ahead and attach this little present to it. But you can go ahead and stick like a little present to it, or maybe a Pokemon for some reason, and you can move it up and down. Look at that. The little string that attaches it is actually pretty long, so if you had this sitting over like an edge, you could actually drop this down pretty far. Then on the other side, again, you have a little stairway with Pikachu there. There's a little tiny hiding spot in there for one of them. Over here, you have this little room up here, which has a nice amount of space for a little bed there in my case. And then down here, you have the little living room area, which you get a whole lot of space. Overall, I think this is a pretty cute set. Overall, these are both super cute little things. I'm going to have a lot of fun playing around with them and rearranging them.